Hey everyone, my name is Asase Obo. My parents pronounce my name as also Seth, if you want to pronounce it correctly. I started telling people to call me Asase when I was, um, I don't even know, first grade. And someone said, oh wow, your name sounds like awesome. Like awesome say. And so they started calling me awesome say, and I was like, bet. But somehow Asase just was easier for people to say. And I started telling people, that's cool, you call me that, it's fine. And that's how I started introducing myself and how I still introduce myself. Um, unless it's a Nigerian person that I'm like, oh, it's also set. Also say, also set. And I'm like, huh? Like, Whichever one, I'm not tripping. But um, yeah, so I'm starting a YouTube channel. If you follow me on Instagram, welcome fam. Love up in casa, you know? Um, but yeah, I feel like um, God has called me to be more intentional about sharing my story, I guess, of how he's just brought me to where I am today um, in hopes that I can just be another light, I guess, in this world of craziness right now. Um, and so this is just an introductory video of how I'm going to do that, um, specifically like how this is going to go because I'm a med student, I'm a second year med student, and if you know anything about med school and like the timeline, this is like step one season, AKA my first round of board exams, which is very important for where I can potentially end up for residency. So like this is, this is a no game situation. So because I've decided to commit to doing this right now, I need, I'm gonna like be very strict with myself. I'm not gonna be over here editing it. It's about to be what you get in a camera. Camera, me, you, boo, me, you, you better get me. What you get is what you get, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna be like chopping and screwing it up. Props to the vloggers and bloggers, whoever have the time to do that. I really don't, and I feel like it's just gonna make me feel more pressure. So this is how it's gonna work. Um, I have like a list of topics that people have sent me um, as I've like surveyed people that like message me and give me, tell me that they love that I shared this part or that part and how it helped them in their journey. So I got a couple topics that I'm gonna be going through. Um, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna set my jams on a little vinyl record player as I continue building this collection. Today's Lauren Hill. So, I'm gonna set the jam. I'm gonna raise that just a little bit. I'm gonna set the jams. I'm gonna set a timer, probably like seven minutes, and then I'm gonna talk about whatever the topic is that has been posed to me or whatever comes to my heart, whatever I pray about, and God's like, I want you to share that story of how I brought you through this, how I brought you through taking the MCAT X amount of times. Ooh. Yeah, but I'm just gonna be sharing my story. I'm not sure if this is too loud, I'm gonna lower it. Because God knows I'm not about to edit music over this. And I, I don't have time. I don't have time to study, to try to cook and eat well and exercise, to try to keep up with my family and my friends, to try to make time for creative shoots, to try to work so I can help support my out-of-state loan life. Um, all of this takes so much time, and so this is one thing that I don't necessarily have the most amount of time for in terms of like post-production editing. So it's about to be like, I'm about to be real strict and try to be right to the point because I ramble. So yeah, seven minutes, some jams, talk about whatever topics you guys want to talk about. So that's kind of what you can expect introducing who I am. That's what this is also about. So I was born and raised in Los Angeles. My parents immigrated here from Nigeria. I'm from, my parents are from the Ishan tribe. So I'm Ishan. Um, uh, yeah, went to college and grad school and did a post -bac program all in LA. And I was like, Lord, I gotta get up out of here. And I didn't ask for Michigan, but he brought me here with my sister. So we're both in med school together. So that's just like a little bit of background about me in terms of like the med school part. We'll get deeper later. In terms of creative, being a photographer, um, I started shooting, I took an AP photo class, 12th, senior year of um, high school. The only way I knew my parents would let me take it with a, fun, with a really fun teacher at my school, the only way I knew I could probably finesse a camera out of them, you know, senior Austin I wasn't really like working to make it money. So I was like, yo, I'm about to take an AP class. It's like, oh, okay, good, AP classes is good for you. You know, and I was like, bad, 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 bad. They got me a little camera, a little Fujifilm point shoot. Um, and that's kind of how I started. I think I always saw people 
what they were smiling or interacting, and I always thought like, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, this is beautiful. Like, God, this world is beautiful. We got some beautiful people up here. Even like if it was like moments of crying or whatever, just emotion, I just loved seeing it. And now I was able to capture it. And so like, I really love taking candles and stuff. So that's kind of how I started. Ended up, that camera ended up breaking before I got to college. We can talk about that later. Um, but I ended up using my friend's camera first year. Um, started taking pictures of like pro protests and things that were going on at UCLA around that time. And ended up getting asked by different orgs to take pictures of their events and such. And um, I'm checking my timer here. Yeah, I started taking pictures of events and stuff. And then I got my first paid gig. Someone asked me if I could take their senior pictures for them, their grad photos. And wanted to pay me, pay me, a whole $50. I was like, are you crazy? Are you me? Hey, money. That's money. Oh. I was like, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I don't think I can accept that one. Uh, don't pay me. I'll just take it. Because, you know, when you don't know your worth, you don't accept payment and you don't request what you actually deserve, right? Sorry, I just got a little deep. So, ended up saying yes and ended up shooting that first. And it just kind of grew. I remember one year, my third year of college, I think I had like 100 people that I did graduates for. That was a very lucrative, lucrative year. Anyways, so that's kind of how I started. I didn't really call myself a professional photographer until after I graduated. I was like, all my friends were pushing me. I started this Instagram called Shots of Bliss. Uh -huh. didn't, didn't last for too long. So I was like, I think my issue is that I'm not accepting photography as a part of me, Met this pursuit of medicine as a, as a part of me. I started grad school, I was doing public health, and I was like, this is a part of me. Like, as humans, we're so complex and we have so many passions and things, and we're able to do them freely. We don't have to have a specific label to tell us what we can do today or tomorrow. Like, yes, it's really good to focus on something, but I was really having this issue with just accepting myself as a creative, as someone in STEM, as someone, as a daughter of Christ, as all these things, all of these things make me who I am. So um, in my pursuit to accept myself for who I was, I deleted that Instagram and just made it one. My one Instagram, I post everything. I don't really care. I just post selfies. Like, I probably haven't deleted anything since I started Instagram. So you can, like, see the glow up. It's cool. Um, but, yeah, so that's kind of been my journey creatively. I've been able to travel and shoot. I've been able to do a lot of different things, whether it's weddings or corporate stuff. There's nothing really that I've said no to. I'm just like, okay, God, show me how you're going to help me do this because... I've never done this before. Help me make this contract. Okay, show me who I need to talk to to ask questions on how to do this. Um, so now I shoot for my school and I still shoot other things on the side. I shot two weddings at the beginning of second year. I don't even know how, don't ask me. Um, but that's a little bit about that. I love to travel, I travel to 36 countries so I can talk to, some, talk to you guys about that. But that's just a little bit about me. So I've given you about me, I've introduced myself. I'm 27 today. Hey now, I'm a grown woman. I have been praying for this day all my life to just keep growing up is good so um yeah so talked about uh who i am photography med school travel yeah that's i mean those are like some pretty big components i love food but we can talk about that later um so yeah so you can just comment below anything you want me, might want me to talk about share this with anyone that's on the pre-med journey because a lot of this next couple weeks are going to be really pre-med heavy um and yeah let's see where this goes no expectations just sharing it myself, trying to spread some love and light, guys. I hope you enjoy. I hope you join me. Hope you follow me on Instagram. Not really. I don't, I don't care. Um, maybe we can meet one day. But yeah, so thanks for coming in and checking out this little introduction. I'm going to be doing a giveaway because God's been calling me to give of my pocket, which he has given me um, to someone else that's pursuing medicine. So whether you're, whether you're pre-med, preparing to pay $2,000 for a freaking MCAT step course. I feel you, bro. I feel you, sis. God's telling me to give you something. So details for that will be on my Instagram later today. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be fun. So let's jam out to Lauren Hill. And that's enough for now. Bye.